Hello and welcome to another learner tutorial. This is my first one um, in about six months. So I'm going to show you how to make a DVD player using Visual Basic 2008. Okay, it only runs um, off DVDs that are in your CD drive. Um, and then it's got various functions as you can see right here. And it's also resizable. So if you move it, you'll always get the same amount of picture. And K okay, onto the code. Basically, moment. This is just my last one. Close project. Okay, so you go file new project, and then we'll call it DVD player. You don't have to call it this. It's just prefer to call it, and then just make it a little bit bigger and then just click on it once and then you can change the text to say DVD player or something like that and if it really and as you can see it's on grow only so that means it won't that means it will be able to move about and stuff and what we want to do if we haven't got um, if we haven't got uh, if we aren't running on XP sorry <laughs> then we want to go to choo tools choose toolbox items and then first we actually go back go back from that step and then first we need to go on to this website here which will be in the comment run this download and then type in whatever it says and then just save it to your desktop desktop I've already got it saved so I'm gonna save it again and then if you see on your desktop you will get this once you've extracted it so then you want to go onto the visual basic tools choose toolbox items browse and then find your desktop on it desktop and then what we just downloaded not not the um, zip file, but the D DLL file. Open that. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Go on com first. This com bit, and then and then browse it, and then open it. There we go. Now it'll come up here. Just tip this one, just this one, and then OK. It should come up. Here we go. We've got it on all Windows forms. MS Web DVD class. Just double click it, and we'll get something like this. Um, resize it to a reasonable size. Um, you don't really want any of the white bits on the side. You need to keep some on the bottom. And then on all Windows forms, get the buttons um, we want. I think it's five buttons. Just copy and paste a few buttons. Do 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 do. Okay, I'll just put seven. I don't think it's seven, but okay. So you want to call the first button. Okay, you want to call button one. CMD play button two call it CMD pause button three CMD stop and button four CMD CMD forward then button five CMD backward button six eject and button seven next chapter oh no one minute. CMD next and then you want eight buttons so so add another button and we'll call this um CMD CMD previous for the previous chapter and then we need to change all the buttons names
the jet spawn. Next chapter, previous chapter, and now finally onto the code. So I'll click on the play button, and you want um oh, I mean, first, re click on the um, video bit, and put the name to um, DVD player. And then cl double click on the play button, and then put DVD player full stop and um, play, and then just leave it like that, and then pause DVD player full stop pause stop DVD player dot stop. It's pretty simple this bit, so. Just gonna fly for it. Okay, this one's a little bit different. DVD player dot um for this one is um play forwards and then you put it like this too. So then it goes two times as fast. And then you want rewind DVD player dot play backwards. And then two. You can change it to whatever you want, but then you'd have to change that number there, so it's like four times. And then this one, this one here. DVD player dot DVD player dot play. No, play next chapter. And then previous is DVD player dot play previous chapter. Okay, and that's basically all the code you need, really. If you want, you can change the background of this. All the things are in there. And then we'll compile it and see what it. And as you see, it's working. Thank you, and please subscribe.